Today has a singular focus, lesser scop. I mean, if I find other things, that's great, but specifically going to look for a lesser scop today. They've been avoiding me. Today's my day. I mean, we'll check back in in about 20 minutes when, or not 20 minutes. I mean, we'll check back in in a moment when I'm crying that I didn't find them, but that's what, is, that's what today is all about. All right. Well, it's crazy windy. Got more scop, but the difference between lesser and greater scop is pretty. So far, so good. I think they're more lesser scop, but uh, not my luck. The following day. Ah, full panic twitch for a yellow-throated warbler five minutes from my place. Forgot my binoculars, so heading back. But then we're gonna go try to track this down. Report's three hours old. It's gonna be chuff. <coughs> Warblers don't exactly stay around, so we'll see how it goes. Full panic hustle to get here. Now it's just, can I wait longer than the, the warbler? <laughs> I gotta search every nook and cranny of this place. Let's hope. Fingers crossed there's a bunch of other people here, so lots of eyes. Hopefully we find it. Today is my lucky day. I refound the yellow throated. And behind me you can see what kind of a big deal this is. So many people are here to see this. Rare for our area, maybe the first county record ever. Exciting. I don't even care about the yellow-headed blackbird anymore. Although if it shows up today, I'm going for that too. <laughs> All right, super happy guy out. Part two of this day. Notice a, a small wardrobe change. The temperature has dropped like crazy. Now it feels like minus two. Hoping for a common gallinule. Same spot as the Virginia rail and the Sora. And maybe I can redeem myself and get some good footage of those too. Anyways, full winter kit so I don't freeze. See if we can go get this galadil. As you can see, very dark now. Struck out on the galadil, but I gave it a good try. I was there for an hour and a half, freezing my ass off. I'm sure they'll be there some other time this year, so I'm not super concerned about it. But uh, gave it a try for y'all. Several days later. Finally made it across town. It's too windy, too weird. Today we're chasing yellow-headed blackbird. <laughs> Most likely not gonna see it, but you can see from the map. Again, another Western species. So I kind of have to go. It was seen last night. There might be other things along the way, but uh, <laughs> I can already tell I'm gonna be suffering so hard on the way home. The wind's going to be crazy. Anyways, I'll bring you back up. Uh, Ponsonby. Let's see what's there. Uh, appears I've struck out on the yellowhead of Blackbird. And there's snow coming in an hour and a half. Well, an hour and... An hour and 15 minutes now, maybe? And it's a... Almost block headwind of 30 to 40 kilometers an hour on the way home. So... We'll see if I don't call in a ride home this time around. It's a bummer, but you don't try, you don't win. So, I'm going home. Aha! It ripped over the road, didn't get any video or anything, but finally got Northern Area. Yes! I expected this a little bit. The worst headwind is like five minutes from my house. Anyways, it's been a good ride. I've got a couple species. No switch, northern area, no yellow-headed blackbird, but whatever. It's kind of a long 
long shot. Good, maybe about 73K. Good training. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the week probably. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.